Hi guys, welcome back to Fishing Up Pike Days. Um, we're at a brand new water today. It is extremely windy, so if you're getting loads of wind during the filming. <laughs> yeah, night's on. I've got to be really careful because the camera's been blown over a couple of times. If you see me jumping up, that's why. We've got to a brand new water. Um, but that being said, we haven't had much luck recently, have we? Nope, it's been pretty awful. It must have blanked about four times at least, I think, in the last. Yeah. Well, since October, really. <coughs> it's been very, very poor, the fishing, hasn't it? The pike fishing has just been absolutely we, non existent. We've not, not even had a knock, have we? No, we have really struggled and. Uh, we got here today, well we're here today sorry, and we're just hoping to break that curse. Um, everything's out though isn't it? It's so bad that James didn't even do his introduction in the car this morning. Because <laughs> he was frightened that it might give us bad luck. <laughs> I got, yeah, well, I got, um, what's the word? Uh, superstitious. Mm -hmm. If we did the introduction in the car like we've been doing the last four weeks, then we weren't going to catch again. So. We've not done the introduction in the car, hopefully that's going to pay off. Anyway, we've got the rods in guys. Um, while we wait for a fish to come along, I'm going to show you some footage of a previous trip that I went on. Unfortunately, you were working, weren't you? Yes, I was, yeah. Um, so, enjoy that, and hopefully next time you see us, we'll be getting the pike out. Morning. It's about at the moment 6 a.m. and uh, I'm going for a pike day today, trying to get some pike out. I've got here super early. I don't actually think the gate opens about seven, but couldn't stay in bed. I just wasn't sleeping well. I just knew I was going pike fishing, so all night I was waking up. It's like, come on, come on, bring it on, bring it on. So got a bit early, but it does mean I get the best spot because no one else has arrived yet. So my car's first in line, I'm waiting for these gates to open and it's straight through to the lake. Not much else to report apart from that, so I'll sit in, listen to a bit of radio for an hour or two. Hopefully an hour. And then when the gate's open, I'll get the rods in. Hopefully I can show you guys some pike. Here we go. Hey! 
all guys, I've been here five minutes. And that is a brilliant result. I hope the rest of the day is like this, I really do. <laughs> but look at that, five minutes work, just got here, through the rods, and it screamed off actually, you don't usually go too fast here, but it screamed off. Put up a really good fight, really good fight. Uh, and I'm over the moon, I've not caught one of these in the wild, back in the season, back on my favorite fish, back at my favorite place. Haven't even had time to film the introduction. <laughs> it's getting weighed, see what he is, but then I'm gonna pull him back. Excellent start. See if we can get a close up for you. <laughs> what a pristine pike. Absolutely love these fish. Sorry about the planes. I <laughs> hope you can hear me. Fishing it off. Come on. <laughs> As you can already tell, I'm a pretty happy guy. <laughs> um, cast the rods out. I hadn't even done much filming to start with. I just wanted to get the rods and everything prepared. And just as I finished setting everything up, just as I packed all the gear away, got my seat out, set and ready to sit down, the far right rod just absolutely screamed off and had a really good fight, actually. I thought the pipe was a lot bigger because the fight, it was quite, it was quite aggressive. It was... Uh, it was heavy the whole time and then every now and again it went on these just soaring runs really put some pressure on the rod uh, I've weighed it's about seven just over seven pound really um, still a decent pike not huge but you know me I don't care what size pike I catch um, hope you can still hear me when the plane's going over <laughs> I did come here a couple of weeks ago with my dad unfortunately um, we didn't get anything it was a really really difficult day and I know we've done a couple of videos here, but we like every time we start the new pike fishing season, we like to come here, start it off somewhere where we learn to pike fish, somewhere where we love, somewhere that's close by, uh, and somewhere that's just absolutely amazing. So we came here, didn't have any luck. My dad's away on holiday at the moment, so I had a choice. I could either try somewhere new or come back here. I chose to come back here just because I'd prefer to go to that place with my dad and try it. And also, Carrying the camera gear around can be a bit difficult sometimes on my own. So I can come somewhere and know that I can have the camera next to me, nice and stationary. I don't have to worry about filming too much. Hopefully the day is going to continue like this. There's only one other angler on and he's fishing for carp. So I think I've got the place to myself for pike. It's not even, I don't think it's even 8 o'clock in the morning yet. And we've got the whole day ahead of us. So here's fingers crossed to another one. See you guys soon. Here we go. Well, even though the day started off so promisingly, unfortunately the fishing died off after that and nothing else was caught. So it was time to pack away the gear and plan for my next fishing trip.
you want. I'm just going to pick it up. He's a bit off, James. He's a bit of line now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'll get it. That's okay. You got it? Go on. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Oh, well done, James. <laughs> let's, have a look at, let's have a look at you then. Well done. Well done. <laughs> First fish. Right on the lip. Perfect that James, well done. Get him there. Uh, lovely, keep that away. Oh, that way. Yep. Okay, what a lovely fish. If you want to get the wasteling, Dad. Yeah, one second's on you. Okay guys, we're gonna we're gonna weigh him now. What I'm gonna do is we're just gonna down the net in the water because I wanna keep him nice and uh, nice and moist. So Zero of him. I have cut myself in the bike's teeth. Which part of it? What are we on, James? 14. It's difficult with the wind, but we're looking. 14.5. Wow, well done. 14.5. So it's double picking fish. Let's get some air, uh, see what it looks like. You ready? Yep, just a minute. You have to delete some of this because I've got it. Okay, just keep it recording, Dad. I am doing it. Ready? Yeah, one sec. Yeah, I've got it. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> one sec, I'll just zoom in. There we go. First bike of the trip. Absolutely just over the moon. It's been a while since we've caught one of these. And to have one out like this, it's a very dark colour, very dark colour bike, isn't it? It's, go it's golden, isn't it? Golden pike. Never had one like this before. But yeah, beautiful. Give me a great fight. It's really lively. I think it's only fair to get back in. Great stuff. Well done, James. Okay, guys, just getting back. Come back in the water. Let me swim off. I've had my fun. Right guys, so the rig we're using, we're about to cast another one out. Now what I'm actually doing is casting my favourite pike bait up. My favourite pike bait of all time, which is the smell. Standard trebles on there, on the wire trace. Now what I've actually put in the middle is a floater pop-up and I've attached that floater pop-up to my trebles. So when the bait comes off in the fight, you don't lose the float down the pike's neck. That is attached to your hooks and you're never going to lose it. Now down the wire trace, we have a stop bead, and then I have a running lead system. And what that's going to do is when that hits the bottom, we'll tighten up, the lead system's going to be like that, and the rig's going to be popped up just like that, ready for the pipe to take. And just peace of mind, what we're going to add to that is a little bit of scent, some smell in the syringe, pull that inside, inject the smell, just releases that extra oil. It's done the job so far, let's see if it works again. Here we go. It's getting windy. It's getting windy in it, Dad.
filming as we did the wind blew all the disgorges have gone in the water so we catch a pint now we're in big trouble so i'm gonna have to go in there get the disgorges and get absolutely freezing cold because <laughs> that last point Another day over. Another pike day. Um, it was it was all right, okay. It was, it was okay, wasn't it? It's almost twelve hours of fishing from dark to dark. <laughs> and and you had one pike in the first couple of it. hours. <laughs> but um, it's been a slow start to this pike season. But that's me. Oh, come on. There we go. It's been a slow start to this pike season, but we are going to keep going, um, and hopefully there'll be some more videos. But it's just good to get one out today break that trend of blanking which we don't usually do sure. yeah, it was a good day it was a good day it was all right see you soon thanks for watching bye hi there guys welcome back to pike days and this is part two because we're on the same venue as we were last time um and that is mainly due to because just the pike we had last time was absolutely incredible i've never seen colors like that before no have no you? never no no just, it really did get us going so this is our second trip well second trip third trip the second time we came it was about minus five degrees when we got here at four o'clock in the morning it was completely iced over so we basically turned around and went home but this time it's cold but it's looking much much better much more promising isn't it and not frozen and We're not frozen yet. We've had a great start. We were only fishing. We got here super early, but we were only fishing for about an hour. And it's Dad's turn to catch his time, so the rods went off. He struck in, and he had around uh, ten pounds. Ten pounds, yeah. I'll give him ten pounds. It was absolutely lovely pike. Again, it wasn't as golden as the last one, was it? But no, it still had that tint no. to it, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, so it's still early in the morning. Uh, what time is it now, James? About about nine o'clock so yeah. in a good couple of hours hopefully we might get another one out but we'll just have to see how it goes we've just thrown a float out to see if we can you know with with the bait moving around a bit it might cover a bit more distance so we might pick yeah. something else up but and we've got them all popped up different haven't we we've got one popped, popped up by about that much one by that much yeah so we're covering our ground so hopefully there will be another one in it for today um because we want to get another one out here and then move on try somewhere new mm. but you good to go it's a great spot, absolutely fantastic location, lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely place in there. Anyway, yeah, it is nine o'clock and I think it's breakfast time. You hungry? Right. Yep, very. <laughs> See you guys soon. Pressure on it. Yes, Dad. Yeah. Sorry, guys, one sec. Here you go. We just got it on. You sure you don't need help? How you doing, Dad? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. What a lovely pipe. Lovely first pipe, that one. Oh, 
Okay, there you go. Okay, I don't want to hurt it. Okay. Yeah. Anybody can do that, it's not even cold, <laughs> I'm honest. <laughs> Call it a day. The wind's been building and building from probably about half past ten this morning. It's just got to a point now where it's almost well, it's very, very difficult to fish. The bite alarms are going off. It's just very uncomfortable. So we've we've thrown the towel in. I'm afraid. But about half past three. We could have, would have been nice to give it another hour just to have seen if we could have got something as dusk was approaching. But. Enough's enough, I think, don't you, James? I don't think it's safe to fish from in, in the wind because the, the alarms keep going off, don't they? Yeah. And yeah. The, the line gets slacker and slacker. And, you know, when you're fishing for pipe, that then um, trebles. It's just you, you want quick quick, bites, quick yeah. indication, don't you? So yeah. uh, we've had, a, we've had a, good, a good try here, haven't we? We've, we've had a good try. We've had one out today, so all's not lost. It's not been a bad yeah, day. Yeah, I've been twice, caught twice. We're going to try somewhere else next time. We're actually at the end of the pipe fishing season. Uh, it's been really warm this season. Also, I've just bought a house, I've been working, not trying to move in. We haven't been out as much as we wanted to, but um, it's yeah. getting towards the summer soon, isn't it? So we're planning and doing a lot of cart fishing or trying some new venues, but I'm sure there's one or two pipe trips left. I think so. Hi. <laughs> right. Okay. You done? Yep. Okay. Well done.